Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at enumerators. So first of all, what are enumerators? Well, pretty simply, they're a type of variable that are always global and can store information that can be accessed easier and is more readable. So what does that really mean? Well, in order to create one, you just simply type enum and then you need a name for your enumerator. So we're just going to do uh, names. Okay. And then, so this is how the basic setup. So you have to have a name for your enumerator class or system. And then you can name the specific ones. Enumerator names. And then let's do Bob equals zero. Jerry equals one Harry equals two and Barry equals three. Now this might seem kind of meaning meaningless, but basically you can use any of these now and you access them like this. So let's say you need to do current name. So you have a current name. Basically these can just these just store something. They just store a number or a string or whatever you need the enumerator to store, but it's more readable for you. So you know that this means Bob. I mean, you can just put 0 here, but you don't know what that means. It doesn't mean anything. But enumerators can put a name for something that you don't really understand or don't really care to know about. But now that I see this current name, and the name is Bob. So let's do another one. Enumerator, um, place in level. So let's say that you have a bunch of different places in the level. And then, so you have hometown. That can equal, um, let's do, Actually, let's do hometown x equals 500. So let's just think of these as coordinates. And then hometown y equals 700. And then we can do um, swamp x. So these are like different locations in your level. And they have coordin coordinates. So if we do this, so there, we have two different places. Of course, if we just type in 500, 700, 200, 500, that doesn't mean anything. So for example, you might have some sort of code that can say, go to, or actually this is a better one, move towards point. And then you need to put in an X and a Y and a speed. So. It's much more understandable to say place in level dot dot home hometown x than it is to s than it is to just write five hundred because this will make more sense to your brain. So yeah, those are the basic uses of enumerators, and just remember they're global, so you can use them and access them from anywhere. And once you create them, that's it. That's all that's created. So you can't really go back and change these values. So, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something.